Hey plant gang, we're about to talk about a culinary herb that's gone through a little bit of taxonomic revision here. This is Salvia rosmarinus, formerly known as Rom Rosmarinus officinalis, uh, just rosemary. And so there's been a little bit of change uh, in that this genus uh, to move rosmarinus into salvia. Uh, it is a fragrant culinary herb that is used for a variety of uh, different purposes. Uh, but let's first talk about its great landscape use. I love to use this plant in the landscape, in particular next to pathways where you can brush uh, against it as you walk into the entrance of a home. Uh, but here standing up brilliantly uh, in the landscape, there's a lot of different cultivars, typically hardy from zones eight and above, but you can get away with this plant in zone seven in a lot of cases with great drainage. Here we've got a, a nice big large plant uh, that is basically in a large container here uh, that has great drainage and that is the key to success with rosemary. So let's talk about cultivar selection of this plant. Uh, this does have a beautiful bluish purple bloom uh, but you can really choose different uh, cultivars in conjunction with each other or different cultivars depending on when you want, want uh, to have bloom. There are cultivars that are known to be very good spring bloomers. There are good uh, cultivars that are known to be fall bloomers. Uh, there are cultivars that are known to be sporadic bloomers. And so if bloom is something that you're interested in, choose your cultivar based on when you want the bloom. Uh, there are also cultivars that are known to have uh, more stiff, upright uh, foliage. I, I know that there's even a cultivar I believe called shish kebab uh, that is known to have a really straight, stiff stems that could be actually used on the grill, uh, cooking chicken as the skewer for that. Uh, so this is used culinarily as well, uh, beyond the landscape, and that's where it's most, mostly well known. Uh, to be used in the kitchen. Fragrant to the touch. Uh, if you want to identify this, uh, get uh, down there, feel the plant, smell the plant, make sure you're familiar with it. So let's just kind of go over the size of this plant. Two to six foot high, spreading out two to four foot wide. Again, a variety of bloom times depending on the cultivar. Uh, and here is a landscape tip. Leaves may be used, either fresh or dried, in a variety of cooking applications.